Hey, welcome back. I'm probably way too excited for this, but I'm really into tech. So today I'm going to be installing this brand new Ecobee Smart Thermostat Premium I just purchased. Um, way too excited about it, I'm sure, but it's really cool. It has a lot of neat features I'm going to go over. So I'm going to get it unboxed. I'll talk about some of those neat features, um, show you what it's like installing it and my home assistant integration and, you know, some of the things I'm doing with that and the automations there. I'm going to be connecting it through the HomeKit integration into Home Assistant, and then I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. So stay tuned. I did purchase this with my own funds, so there's no influence from Ecobee or any other outside entity. All right, let's get this unboxed. Um, this is like some origami stuff here, and it even has a neat little picture on the inside of the cover. So a neat little cover of the uh, box here. And then we open it up and we get this great presentation of the Ecobee thermostat. Very sleek. I love the way this thing looks. Um, has the film on it here, so we'll yank that off. And just, it's a beautiful device. Um, definitely is going to look much better in our living room than our clunky old Honeywell that we have there that looks like it's, you know, from the 90s. And then we have the auxiliary smart sensor as well that's included in the package. So if you want to put this in another room to monitor the temperature of that room and utilize this or, you know, create several of them and create a zone and use the average, that type of thing. Um, that's what these would be for. And then we'll go in and see what else we have in the box here. We have the instructions for the um, unit and the wiring instructions. So that'll be helpful because I'm not a licensed electrician. So full disclosure, if you're not a licensed electrician or know what you're doing, uh, make sure you you know, consult a professional as needed, um, has this nice little, um, you know, bracket here for the device. And then we have um, another extender, it looks like here, very nice finishes on the items. So I think this is going to be a, a nice setup. And it looks like this connects to stand this up as we, if we wanted to do that. And then there's another little uh, hardware packet in here as well. So I'm going to go over the specs next, and then we will look at getting this installed. So some of the features are really pushed me over the top to purchase this. Yes, it's a smart thermostat, so you can control the temperature and you can control it remotely and those types of things. But those aren't what really differentiates the Ecobee. Not only is it a local integration that I can utilize HomeKit for and pull it into Home Assistant, um, but it has so many other features like the occupancy sensor that's built right in. That's something that's really neat. And I want to look at, at that and, you know, including that within Home Assistant for some automations there. It has the built-in indoor air quality monitor in it, uh, the included smart sensor that we can place in another room. It also has an in it integrated within where it can utilize either the um, Amazon Assistant or the Apple Assistant voice control from the unit itself. So really neat features included in the device here. You can do Spotify streaming or Bluetooth streaming right from the device. I mean, it's really unique what features are here and some of the security features that are built right in. So it has a smoke detector alarm where it's listening for the smoke detector. It has a siren built in for security system and also the on-screen uh, keypad for security system. So lots of neat features. I can't wait to get this thing installed and show you what it's like. So without further ado, let's go do that. Here's the Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat we have. Nothing wrong with it or anything. And, you know, it's cloud, you know, connected over to Home Assistant. So I can control from Home Assistant, but sometimes the servers go down and there's issues with that. Um, it just doesn't have a lot of the features that we're looking for. So we're just looking to upgrade and provide the sleek Ecobee here in our home and include all those extra features and include the local Home Assistant integration. So let me get this off the wall and then we could start on the Ecobee. So I got the old thermostat removed. It was actually really, really easy. Um, I downloaded the Ecobee app and you scan your thermostat and then it walks you step by step through everything you need to do. Turn off power, um, labeling the wires and they include stickers for the wires and everything in the Ecobee. So you can label those based on what the information is before you take your old thermostat off. 
disconnect those and remove the thermostat. So here we are moving into the installation of the Ecobee. And I realized there's one thing that I failed to um, you know, discover in the box. It was down underneath the bottom of the box. And that is this uh, mounting plate for behind the thermostat if you want to cover up you know, your holes or something like that. If you had a, a lot of damage on the wall, maybe from your old thermostat, but ours looks pretty good. There's a couple of like indents and these two screw holes, but I'm pretty sure based on my quick, you know, looking at it and, you know, sizing it up that we're going to be able to cover these up and that's not going to be a concern for us. So I'm going to continue the installation from here with the uh, bare wires. I'm going to put the back plate up. So I'm going to feed the wires through. Um, it has the level built in. I mean, Ecobee really thought of a lot of things here. Um, and then it has the, uh, you know, the clamp down on the uh, wire. So super easy installation. You don't even need a screwdriver for that portion. Um, we are going to use a drill, though, and drill the pilot holes for the anchors and put the anchors in. I think I'm going to end up on the sides of ours because of where the hole is and everything um, but I'll drill the pilot holes and get the anchors in and attach this with the screws so I stuck the back plate up here for a second and marked the holes and I'm gonna make the pilot holes now I'm gonna insert the anchors here now that I have the anchors in I'm gonna feed the wires through the hole in the back plate and then I'll line up the uh, plate and insert the screws all right, one thing I did notice is this top piece, it's uh, where the speaker is on the back of the thermostat. So I wanna make sure I have this up high enough that it doesn't go into the hole where the wires are. So I'm gonna probably put it somewhere right in this vicinity and I'll just uh, use the level here to make sure it's, it's perfectly level and proceed from there. All right, we're firmly attached here and uh, that thing's not going anywhere. And we'll move on to the next step. And basically it says we're gonna wire up the thermostat and in this instance, we're going to make sure that when we're finished, that these clips are back and they don't pop forward again. And then it tells you based on the labels on the wires exactly which, you know, spot to insert it. And then you clamp it down. So I'm going to go ahead and get this part done. So I've inserted all these and wow, that was super easy. Really, all you got to do is push it in and it clamps itself down. And then at the end, you give it a little tug, make sure it's in and uh, we're good to go. So all the wiring is done. Super simple. The next step was merely to push the wiring back in the wall, any excess, and then we're going to move on to the next step, which is gently press the thermostat in place. So line it up and clicks right in place. And that's that. So after this, we uh, turn the power back on and we'll proceed. All right, we got the power on and now it's saying hi. And it just did. So we'll register the thermostat. And it's actually going through and making sure that all the wiring you can identify um, and all the other information, you know, it's it's aware of your setup and settings that are needed for the particular wiring you have. And now it's prompting me to pair the smart sensor. So we'll pair the sensor here. It's going to activate by pulling it out. We're just going to leave it a smart sensor for now. And then it's prompting us to connect to Wi-Fi on an iOS device. It actually seems to be native, so we can open it up and go into the settings. All right, I finished going through the process that it prompted me to do, and it was really easy. And now we're installed and we have the thermostat active and the air conditioning on. Going through the process on an iOS device did add into Apple Home, so the HomeKit integration is there. But what I'm actually going to do is integrate it into Home Assistant using the HomeKit integration, so it's all local. All right, I went into Apple Home and deleted the device. So I'm gonna pop over into Home Assistant and go back to just the uh, integrations. And immediately, like usual in Home Assistant, it's discovered. So it's saying it's a HomeKit device and it's a thermostat, so I can go ahead and configure that. And I can use the pairing code it puts on the screen. Just make sure you follow the Home Assistant uh, procedures. It tells you how to put those dashes in. So it's three digits, a dash, two digits, a dash, and then the last three digits, uh, and then submit. Um, because if you uh, don't put that in right, then it won't show properly. So I can go in here and tell it that this is in our living room and that the smart sensor is in the master bedroom. And then I can finish. So just like that, um, it added the other devices. So let me go down here into the HomeKit devices and we will find the thermostat and the smart sensor. And it shows right away that that's Ecobee, tells you the battery life of the smart sensor at this time. And let's go in and see what we can configure from here in the Home Assistant app through the HomeKit integration. 
So you can see we have the thermostat and shows that it's cooling. Then down to 73, it's currently at 75 with 60% humidity. Um, and we can change the modes from here. So I could put it into like away mode directly from, from uh, Home Assistant. So if we, you know, all leave, I can have it trigger that. So that's probably a better method than what I've been doing because I've, for our old thermostat, I've just been going in and setting the temperature. So when we leave, um, I look to see if it's on cool or heat and then set the temperature based on that. But in this situation, I can just leave, you know, Ecobee um, address that and just, you know, change the current mode through this, you know, this uh, integration. And it has the sensors for the current humidity, current temperature, and then motion and occupancy. And obviously, it's still standing here. Those are both detected. We can change the configuration to mute it, or we can change the temperature over to Celsius if we don't want to use Fahrenheit as we originally selected. And we can go in and look at the smart sensor as well. So the smart sensor says that it's currently clear and there's no occupancy because there's nobody in that room and the temperature is 73.8 degrees in that room with 100% battery life. So that'll be really useful. We don't currently have anything in our master bedroom looking for motion or um, the occupancy. So that'll be a good use case there where we can use this for the temperature in addition to some other information for Home Assistant. So what I'm going to do is in Home Assistant, I'm going to go back to our old thermostat and go to those automations and change each of those automations to accommodate the new thermostat and how we need to do it. So the first one is when we uh, arm away, then we need to update the thermostat. So we're going to go down here and I think it's on this one. Yes. So on this one, what we need to do is we're going to need to basically replace this. So let's find the thermostat. We can change the current mode option to away, and then we can go back and we're actually going to need to move this up a little bit because I want to put this in front of that delay that I have for uh, closing garage doors. And then we can delete the old thermostat settings here. So just like that, now we have away mode set. That it's much easier setup than uh, what I had on the old thermostat where I have is having to check and figure out which setting it was in and then set the uh, temperature based on whether it was in heat or cool. So much better there. And then when it's disarmed, it's also doing a check there and determining what it needs to do. So this would be this one where it's saying, you know, we need to figure out which what time it is and what it's in and make all these determinations where I can delete that one. And then I can add in the new thermostat and we can change the thermostat current mode option and we will make it home at that point. And we can save that next automation is when it becomes, you know, nighttime. And this is if somebody's home and the guest mode or, you know, or the guest mode is on actually. Um, so if, basically if anybody's here, then it's going to change the thermostat mode. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this one. And we're going to set this to our sleep for now. The last automation is taking it out of the sleep mode. So again, I'm just going to leave it this way for now. Um, but I don't, I don't know, there's probably a better way than using the time. But like I said, for now, I'm just going to update this to home, you know, assuming that anybody's home. And just like that, I was able to update all of my automations over to the new thermostat. Super simple. And uh, maybe I'll think about some more advanced automations. But that was how easy it is in Home Assistant integrating Ecobee and, you know, setting up all the automations. Now I'm going to jump over to the Ecobee app and show you changes changing some of the settings over there because there's certain things that I don't probably want it quite how they have it set up and just certain things I might want to, um, you know, enable as well. So we're going to look at the system and I'm going to switch that over to an auto heat cool. We never had that option before with our old one, um, but we're going to let it like that so we don't have to really touch anything there. So I just made it all the days uh, just being home for this purpose in the schedule because I want to maintain the schedule through Home Assistant rather than doing it directly in the Ecobee ecosystem. So for home, I'm going to change some of these. Um, we like it to be 70 degrees and 73. And we're going to leave the heat and cool fan modes on. And we'll just do the thermostat during that period of time. And during away, we want to make it not quite that cold probably 67 and 73 for now we'll try those and 
we can use both the thermostat and the room sensor for that. We can save that one. And then for the sleep, I think we will do, I'm going to say we do 67 and we keep it at 70 because we like to stay cool while we're sleeping. And we're going to use both the, the thermostat as well as the room sensor for that one. So that's how easy it is to set those up. And those three are exposed directly in Home Assistant. So I'm going to go over and just test switching and seeing, you know, if I can see it on here that it's switched. The current mode is home. Let's see if we switch it to away. Yep, immediately, you know, it updates there. All right, it's time for my final thoughts. And oh my goodness, we found this thing on a discount on Amazon, you know, it was on sale. And I'm so glad we bought it. Definitely a great, you know, functioning thermostat. The sleekness of the look here on the wall is just a million times better than our old thermostat. I really like the way it looks and it fits more into our lifestyle with the, you know, high tech gadgets that I like to uh, play around with and integrate within our smart home. And the integration, you know, speaking of integrations, the integration with Home Assistant is superb. Utilizing that HomeKit integration, uh, it's seamless, it's instant, and it's all local. Can't beat it. The automations, you know, moving over from our old thermostat to our new thermostat just showed you how complex everything had to be before and how it could be so simple now with just one trigger saying, you know, update the mode on the device and, you know, we're done. So, so much better. Definitely would recommend the Ecobee thermostat. Um, this is the premium version with the smart sensor that we can put in the other room you can also add other smart sensors you can also do some security um, you know things with with this particular model as well so lots of options out there and lots of cool features so make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos as i continue to expand our smart home